Hey, tennis friends, I'm here in California on the campus of UC Irvine outside the Brin Event Center for the home opener of the World Team Tennis team here in Southern California, the Orange County Breakers. Now, if you've seen my reports before on World Team Tennis, you know that it's kind of a different format than other tennis events, and it's a lot more fun. So let's get inside right now and check out the action. Tonight, the Orange County Breakers take on the Philadelphia Freedoms. The first set is men's doubles. Receiving in the far court for the Breakers is Steve Johnson, the two-time NCAA singles champ out of USC. With Trett Huey, an ATP doubles veteran and finalist at this year's Indian Wells, playing from the back court. Playing the net for the Freedoms is Jordan Kerr, a nine-time ATP doubles champion. And serving is his partner, Sam Groth, who hit the fastest serve on record last year at 163.4 miles per hour. After a changeover, Sam Groth to serve to Steve Johnson. Now Steve Johnson to serve to Jordan Kerr. Up next is women's doubles. Receiving in the far court is Maria Sanchez, a USC grad who was an ITA All-American in singles and doubles in 2010 and 11. Playing the net is Liesl Huber, a WTA doubles veteran who owns 53 doubles titles, including five majors and two mixed doubles Grand Slam titles. Playing the net for the breakers is Marina Elena Camarine, a former Italian Fed Cup player and member of Italy's Olympic team in 2004. Serving it up is Coco Van Away, a Southern California native who, interestingly enough, had a win over Wimbledon champ Marion Botterly on hard court earlier this year. Yeah. Now Marina Elena Camarine serves to the Freedom's Liesl Huber. The Breakers' Coco Vandaway serving to Maria Sanchez. Tonight is USTA Member Appreciation Night, and in the USTA Member Appreciation booth, Coco Vandaway and Stevie Johnson came over to get pictures with the USTA members. The third set is mixed doubles. Receiving in the near court for the Breakers is Maria Elena Camarine with Trett Huey in the ad court. Jordan Kerr is playing the net for the Freedoms as Liesl Huber serves. As you can see, there's a lot of great action during World Team Tennis, and nothing beats coming all the way down here and seeing it live and in person. So be sure to get online at BreakersTennis.com to get your tickets. And if you want a 15% discount on that purchase, be sure to use the password. Here it comes. Right there, Grounds Pass. That's right. If you use the password Grounds Pass, you get 15% off your online ticket purchase. And we have five home games left. So be sure to come on down here because we have a lot of tennis stars on both teams that are going to be out here, and you don't want to miss out on any of the action. Speaking of action, let's get right back to center court. The next set is women's singles. Receiving in the near court is the Freedom's Maria Sanchez with the Breakers' Coco Vandaway to serve from the far court. Now Maria Sanchez to serve to Coco Vandaway. After a changeover, Coco Vandaway to serve. Yeah. 
The fifth and final set is men singles. Receiving in the near court is Steve Johnson for the breakers as the freedom Sam Groth serves from the far court. Sam Groth continues to serve. After a changeover, Steve Johnson serves from the far court. Yeah. I'm here right now with Steve Johnson. Steve, it's your first time here playing world team tennis. Uh, are you excited about it? Yeah, it was great. You know, not, not a better way to start your first night than you know, be last and have it come down to you and, and get a win. So it was definitely a, a great night and, and hopefully have a few more of these down the road. Well, you're here in Orange County. You're the hometown guy, so you got a lot of support from the crowd. I bet you that's pretty important out there. Yeah, it was great. It was so much fun to, you know, play in front of a lot of friends and family. And, um, you know, they don't get to see me play too often because, uh, you know, there's no more tournaments in L.A. So it's been great. Well, let's talk about your last year. You know, you graduated a year ago. You, you dabbled in the ATP uh, circuit for a while, but now you're doing that full time. How's that working for you this year? It's been great. You know, a great group of guys, a coach, you know, guys that you travel with, and it, it's been fun, you know, it's a, a lot of travel, but you get used to it, and, you know, you get to see a new part of the world every week, so it's really not, not that bad, but the travel does uh, sometimes get old, but it's uh, it's enjoyable. Well, this week, you just got your career high ranking at number 97, how's that making you feel? It feels great, you know, get in the top 100, you know, it's just uh, the first of many milestones I want to accomplish in my uh, tennis career, so uh, keep on uh, moving forward, it was nice to see, but I want more. One of the great things that I love about coming to a World Team Tennis match is that it's so fast and friendly. Right now, there's a whole line of kids that are 16 and under that are invited to come down to the court after the match. And look at that. They have an autograph table set up, an autograph session with all the players. So it's a great opportunity for all the kids to come out. Of course, you have to be 16 and under to come out onto the court and get autographs from some of their favorite players. That's going to wrap up tonight's match at the Orange County Breakers. I'll see you next time with more tennis outside the line.